Oh, look, you're missing the spindle nut. Yeah, spindle nut out of there. So. No service and a broken car. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> well, that's a good adventure. All right, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? This is the first time I've broken an axle before. Welcome back to Channel Guys. So in this video, uh, we'll do something a little different. I'm going to go over to Joe's house. Joe's a guy that I met at, clean my lens, hang on. I met him at a car meet. I actually sold him my old radio, my old Mickey Thompson. I had the 235s. We're going to go over there and check out a couple of his cars. So that's going to be kind of exciting. Uh, before we start, I do want to say, uh, if you guys follow me on like Instagram, then you guys kind of know kind of a struggle that I'm going through with the car and then like a bunch of stuff going on and there's like maybe a couple of people that know everything that's going on, you know, like life events and all that stuff, but just kind of losing motivation, I feel like, doing the all wheel drive stuff to the car. Uh, hopefully I get that back, and I really want to do that. I really, really want to do the build on this channel. I just want to enjoy the car all wheel drive. What really killed my motivation yesterday was this Integra knuckle. Uh, the, there's a clamp that goes, I think it's on the other side, but anyway, flip it over. No, maybe it is on the front. So there's a big like a big uh, C clamp that goes right here or not a C clamp uh, there's clamps that hold the bearing on right here I got this one off successfully I was gonna drop these off to get powder coated and I got the tool to press this out the other one I damaged and it's actually my trash can over there but when I tried to dig it out I damaged it so bad that the clamp was actually stuck and I ended up breaking the two holes where you would compress the clamp and remove it so that's kind of a bummer. That kind of just pissed me off yesterday. And now we're gonna try to find a passenger side knuckle for an Integra, which is a bummer because I spent 100 bucks on these. But if I can find one at a good price, finally get them refinished and put my bigger brakes on and all that good stuff. Possibly do 36 millimeter uh, uh, pubs on here so I can fit bigger axles, possibly K20 axles. All right, with that said, let's head out to Joe's house and I'll pick the camera up if he allows me to, I guess. So there's a Cummins compound turbo. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a Ford with a real motor in it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It goes down. Jeez. I don't even know what size tires these are. They're, they're 19 and a half by 24 inch with 44 inch tires on them. So How much? The wheels themselves are 19 and a half inch deep. How much do you have in this thing? If you don't mind me asking. What's that? How much is in this thing? 125. Whoa! Yeah, so he was going to sell for 60, but I think I think the lowest he'll probably want to sell for is like somewhere between 70 and 80. Yeah. It's huge. Uh, 70 grand, I think you said 70 to 80? If he wants to buy it. Damn, dude. Yeah, look at the, uh, the exhaust. It's so crazy, like, I can just basically just squat underneath it dude driving this thing it's it's crazy it's so wide it literally you have like maybe a foot on each side in the lane maybe you gotta keep this thing pretty straight no room for air yeah basically it, not too much the the steering is actually pretty tight since we uh i had to replace the bolts and in these the subframe bracing and the pitman arm and all that stuff yeah. i had to replace the bolts because they were missing so this thing had really bad like steering wheel play when going and it would kind of do a little bit of the the vibration it's tightened up a lot more um there's still a little bit but the steering wheel's pretty straight it's it's nice damn dude i can imagine like the shaking and if you're missing bolts and all that on this thing, oh, that's, yeah, exactly. that's scary. Exactly. So okay. when we were going over it, we uh, we took this to the, uh, it was a Guam, the Liberation for Guam at Spanaway Park. Oh, okay. A few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember when that. We, when we pulled in, uh, we were getting some really bad clanking from the back end. Well, just like these bolts, they were, they were about to fall off in the back. So I'm doing work on this. Um, it's full Brian Crower built. So bottom end, cams and everything. All, everything is done. It's a fully built sleeve block, built for high compression, eleven to one. I was okay. going to run it for turbo because I already had a venting um, valve cover gasket. I already had a tap pan. I already had a uh, 
the oil feed line off the back. Yeah. Of the I already have yeah. all that and had all that, but <laughs> I got that turbo. I have fucking. Yeah, you got. I'm just gonna. So are you gonna spray on this or because you're doing all motor, right? Or are you doing high compression? It, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and see how it goes. Okay. And so this had a B1 in it, which I still have. It's tucked in there. I took the engine in trans as one, just dropped it out and then yeah. put this in. Um, this transmission, I believe was the one that came out of the red car with the GSR. Dude, we have shit everywhere now, yeah. That's a Bill Bryan Stiker transmission from this car. And then I got a Clutch Masters twin disc for Similar it. setup as mine. Yeah, so this is going to go in there. Spiker setup. This is a S80, isn't it? This was a LS case or, G, or a, it's a B18 case, right? It's a it's a GSR. Yeah. It's a GSR. So, and then I took it apart because I wanted to know what was inside of it. And Brian Spiker signed it. It's got carbon synchros one through fifth. Um, and then I put an M Factory LSD in it as well. And then this is going to be the, the clutch that goes with it competition clutch twin disc i thought it was a triple yeah. for a second I no like, yeah i thought too when i first got it but so the guy used this i think he put about 900 miles on it everywhere oh yeah. you're watching oh yeah don't yeah. even try Time 500 either. horsepower turbo k20 that's uh, all right this is sonics and it, he just got it out of paint I'm looking at this part it's and it looks seat. like i was gonna say that yeah when, right when there. they did it atm rca r Zixer 750 Zixer 600 which one which one of these will keep up with or which one will this keep up with this catch because i know similar is my car similar setup these two 750 1200 cc so v-twin but four cylinder so i'll be able to hang i've never full throttled this it's like a scary it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have any rider rates no traction control no yeah. stability control no abs so it's all this same with that bike, no rider aids. This, I think, would probably do the best because they get something that goes really good. Which one can, can I beat with the sedan? Which one can you beat? Yeah. Oh, you could beat that one. That one right here? I think you beat that one. You could probably beat this one. Which is? It's a Ninja 636. Okay, and what's so, that red one? That's a Jixxer 600. So they're both you know, 600. I've been actually, I've been wanting to run a, a Jixxer 600. I have a buddy at work who's going to get one. He's like, I'll gap you. I'm like, all right, let's try. I mean, I'll, I give it try. To you. I'll give it to you on this, and dude, I'm telling you, you'll, you'll fucking win. How about the hatch? Let's see the, the, let's, let's see oh, the hatch. The J? Dustin drove that. I drove this. We went to Point Rustin, yeah. the waterfront at Point Rustin, and uh, I parked underneath. The cops came up. And we started talking to them, and they were like, well, what do you think of the truck? And they're like, I just came by to take pictures. Cops taking pictures out of his, his patrol car. So, so Jay, you said it was out of a TS Accord TSX? Uh, the engine is 07 Accord EX Coupe two-door, and then the transmission is out of an 03 TL Type S six-speed. I'm running um, factory ECU, factory wiring harness. I still have factory immobilizer and the key to run the motor. So if the key isn't in the immobilizer spot where I put it, yeah. the engine won't start. So what uh, what tuning software? Is it's all stock. Oh yeah, that's right, because you're Everything's not- Everything's stock. So you, if you put this on K-Pro, you can probably pull some oh, yeah, yeah, power yeah. out of it. So yeah. I, I, uh, I looked at a thing, it's a K Flash Pro or something like that. Yeah. Uh, $1,800. Oh, I can't man. really justify doing that right now. You might now. as well go with like a fuel tech or it, exactly. some kind of standalone. Um, I would probably go with uh, not fuel tech, but uh, haul tech. Haul tech. Yeah, that's what throttle I call Throttle by about. wire. Dude, that's the coolest thing I think is just throttle by wire. <laughs> I think so. So normally, so normally on the Accords or TLs, which is all kind of the same platform, this thing is kind of hidden up here against the firewall, and then there's a giant piece of plastic, oh, okay. and then the strut bar, so you never really see it. But that's basically how it is in every every uh, car with like one of these motors. The actual throttle cable and stuff is kind of hidden away where you can't see it, and then it's done through data directly to the throttle body. Yeah. So you're gonna, get, you're gonna film it, I'm gonna drive it. All right, hold on. All right. Let, me, uh, let me wash my hands. So we're gonna ride in the J series right now. It's a 3.0, it's a J30 out of the cord he was saying. And we got that. That thing's pretty sick, dude. That thing's huge. 
Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna drive it. He's gonna film, so let's go. I'm gonna get the GoPro set up too. I'm gonna try to mount it somewhere in this car. I probably, nah, there's nowhere really to put it, but that we can get a couple different angles. All right, so I'm expecting a lot of torque. I don't know. I don't know if I'm expecting a lot of top. End. How does the top end? Because those are red very high. So. Well, uh, here's the thing. Still automatic cluster, so there's no tack. It's basically like you feel by ear or yeah. until you hit the the limiter. But you'll see. By the way, there's no power locks on. There's no power now. Okay. Good. <laughs> Dude, that's it's the best. It might not have the most power, but it's it's there when you want it. Yeah. Like when we get out here, fucking, you'll see, you'll like it. But the sound is amazing. What do you think it's making to the wheel right now? Realistically, I'd probably say 220. Yeah. It makes 240 at you know as it comes from the factory, yeah. but it's in such a light car, and now I have upgraded axles, upgraded clutch, upgraded flywheel. Yeah. I think it's making at least 200 to 220. Let's see that phase. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cool. I've never, I mean, I've only been B-series. I've driven a couple Ks, but you know. Yeah. There's there's a uh, railroad tracks okay. just right up there, right after you get over it, just fucking get down. Like I come to a, a slow down and then gotcha. open it up. Are you ready for this? I'm ready, are you ready? Yeah, dude, it, it's nice. LSD, so both tires are gonna be fucking wanting to grab and go. Sweet, but all that weight probably keeps it front. It does, pointed. it does pretty good. So you'll see as soon as you open her up. Oh, shit, my yep, go ahead and put it in second. Let's see. Hammer it. spin and just fucking that and just like the, the lag yeah know? it, it kind of hits you in the face that was cool <laughs> i want to see you launch it okay i'll, see, I'll, I'll let you do that one. okay I mean, for what it is, it's, it's, fun, it's fun, yeah. It's great. I have a good time with it. Dude, this road is empty. I didn't know about this road. Pull, I'll pull out here first and we'll get down. You'll see, it'll it'll spin it through first, but when I grab second, it just, it hooks. Like if I'm intentionally trying to burn out. Wide open behind you. Yeah. All right, so this will be a first for me too. Oh really? <laughs> oh, no way. Is that an axle? It sounds like an axle. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be so pissed. I uh, spent a thousand dollars on these. Oh, dude, now I feel bad. Oh, oh, look, you're missing the spindle nut. Yeah, spindle nut out of there. So that, oh, it broke. It broke in the f***ing hub. Oh. Well, that's what I get for trying to show off. No, dude, I feel bad for asking to do that. 
Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, where's the spindle nut at? <laughs> Somewhere in there. Dude, I wonder if it fell off like on our way down. That or it snapped off the axle. It's still stuck on the end of the axle. So we got no service and a broken car. <laughs> Mint. <laughs> Oh, dude, it actually broke. Yeah, look at the axle. The, the, it broke the axle. Yeah. How's the other side? You didn't even look on the other side. Hopefully, this is one. Hey, yeah, flatbed, this... come here. Yeah, we're good. Are these 32s or 36? Uh, 32s. She's running good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Watch it be in the engine bay. How's the, the transmission side of the axle? Oh, it's still sitting inside. It's, everything's good. That's good at least. Yeah. That's the, good. You don't want to lose all the that intermediate fluid. shaft and all that. It's good. I wonder if I'll be able to actually try to drive it out of here. Try and limp it, yeah. So we're gonna try to limp the car on one axle. Like it <laughs> got LSD. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I've never done that before. Man. I haven't either. We're gonna find out because I, I I was never too sure if that really works or not, but now we're gonna I, th I think that's why usually like on the drag strip, they that's why they just cut the car off. It's because yeah. Hey. Oh, your axle's doing this in the hub. Yeah, the hub's fucking done. Oh, dude, I don't know. She ain't moving. She ain't moving. Time for a little smoke action, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna go home and get high. No shit. Time to do some drinking and get back. We need the straps and we need the scion. Come get me. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. You know where my straps are, right? It just took us forever to get signal. Hello? Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, that's a good adventure. All right. So what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? This is the first time I've broken an axle before. I've gone through four transmissions, never an axle. You know what's crazy? But I've never broken an axle on my car, but I broke an axle on my buddy's car at IFO. He's like, take oh, my just car to the track. a couple weeks ago? No, this was like two years ago. Oh, okay. He had an HTV hatch, badass car. He's the one that has a green sedan. The, the oh, nice. Car. He had an all-motor HTV, and I launched it. I, everyone's like, yeah, because the exhaust, the two steps on it. It was a badass car. All-motor me, like 250 on the 85. Head package, stock lock. And I went to go launch it, and bam. Oops, sound like this. Yeah. All right, so we're walking down the street looking for the spindle nut. <laughs> and part of the Oh, dude. Because it, it, it's like you can see it's kind of like. Oh, it's, it. yeah, you can see the casting on. You can exactly. see like the yeah, cast. $1,000 for two axles already is ridiculous. That's really expensive. Can't imagine what drive shaft shop would be. Oh, yeah, I know. That's What's funny though? My vape is 18%. My phone's 18%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bummer. So it'd probably be over here somewhere. Yeah, because we did a little turn around. Or out there. So I see some tire tracks. We're going to look around. Well, if anything, because your tracks are right there, it's probably going to be over here somewhere. There it is. We got it. Holy shit, dude. There's a thousand dollars down the fucking drain. Can you just get one made or you have to get them in a pair? No, I think you could probably get one, oh, but look at still. That. It even broke it loose for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I can't believe we fucking found it. Hey, I could see it just sitting like I that. know the title of the video. Most expensive way to break an axle nut <laughs> loose. <laughs> there you oh, go. Oh, dude. I wonder if we can put it back in and hey. if it'll work. <laughs> hey, if you can <laughs> weld it and grind it down. Just good time. It's a good time. I know your problem. Your dipstick was up. Oh, dude, son of a Fixed bitch. Now. One. Uh, but it's towed Hondas. My other one, yeah. Tow truck. Okay. Come on. Come along. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm doing one on each yeah, side. Put this stuff that would probably be a good idea. Oh, I don't know how this is going to work. But we're going to find out. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, it should work now. I put your dipstick back in place. Are you in gear? Uh, so oh, okay, okay, okay. It's because of. You're like all the clutch. Oh, okay. rolling. Gotcha. 
Let's try. We have like eight feet. <laughs> I'm a tailgater. Yeah. Fuck this person. You go too slow. Oh, oh she fucked me off. You bitch. Hurry up and speed up. It'd be funny if someone was out here watching us do pulls out and come back being towed. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, whoops, they fucked up. Blew the motor. Yeah. What? What are you laughing about? <laughs> you see me laughing? I thought you were going to like have tension, so when I went through I the did. Hall, oh, I didn't but... think it was going to do that. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah. It's like, oh, great, I just ripped the ass end of my car off. So, this is a similar exact setup, except he's got stock high tear cams, I believe he said. Yeah, he's calling blood. I'm jealous of that. This thing's actually, this thing's pretty rad, dude. He's got the, it's down now, obviously, but C2 cluster. He's got a CTR cluster, some Corbo seats. It's a pop top, so I just popped it. Thank you, man. Oh, oh. and there ah. it is. Thank you. Hey, so what car would you make all-wheel drive out of all these? You better see it soon. Yeah, well, dude, that's, yeah. I don't, I don't have... Dude, I got all this shit. We can't show the red car, so... I got all this shit. Maybe I can trade some stuff. Yeah, well, cold start of this is... It's not that loud. Oh, it's not? In fact, okay. it's not that loud. It's pretty... It's pretty tame. <laughs> uh, I mean, how are we going to climb in this? Is there, is there a step side on that side, too? Yeah. Uh, or, or, uh, I guess running boards. Yeah. That's what they're called. Woo! Let me go shut the hood on my car real quick. The V10? No, no, no. This this came with the, I want to say it's like a, a seven liter seven diesel. Three, I think. Something like that. That's yeah. what originally was in here. And then the guy that had the truck first guarded that out, did the common swap. It's from a like a 90s Dodge. Got dual pumps and all that bullshit in there, but doesn't need to have a to run it, which That's is crazy. Good swap for that. Fuck yeah. I feel like I've seen this. Have you driven it around? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I've seen it. Yeah. I've seen that too, your hatch. I was actually buying my cell phone that I'm holding right now, and you, you went by the Verizon store. This is like two summers ago or something. Yeah, like probably, that. yeah. Yeah. By what, at which store? Just the Verizon right here. Right there? By the Verizon by, uh, oh no, come out right here on 8th. Yep. The Verizon by the GameStop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Right yep. Yeah. All the fucks. <laughs> Woo. You got to jump up here. Oh, five foot six. You're a little shorter than me. Five foot seven. You're five seven? Yeah, I'm five seven. <laughs> got just a, a little bit. It's probably not full five seven, but it's five seven. Every enough. inch counts. Every inch counts. Ask my girl. She'll tell you. It's three inches of fury. That's what I was about to tell you. <laughs> oh, good. It might not be long, but I'll beat the shit out. All right, just run that Civic over. Right? Yep. Where's the mailbox? Dude, what the hell? Dude, we're so high. <laughs> Sorry, Steven. Dude. You had to use part of your yard. <laughs> it's just a giant fucking truck. With a Cummins in it, a Ford no, with the Cummins. No big deal. This shit ain't fitting on a regular alignment rack. No. That's for sure. This thing gets like 20 miles a gallon. That, I believe it. I pulled this thing up twice. On this tank, we, we're still over half a tank, and I've driven 331 miles. It's a little Mexican shindig going down. <laughs> There's going to be like a few hundred people inside I'll, the little horse arena over I here. I want to see their reactions to this thing. Oh, yeah. They, they fucking love it.
I go smell to... that diesel. Oh, it smells good. Uh, actually, it does. It, it does actually smell very yeah. good. And you should take it to Les Schwab and ask them to rotate the tires. <laughs> dude, they fucking hate me over there. <laughs> I go in, dude, I went in there a couple weeks ago and I was, I rolled right up. Like I own the dude, place. Dude, they're probably like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I need new tires. I used to work there. At that one? Uh, the one in on Canyon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all my boys work at the one right here in Spanaway, and I'm like, they're like, "What do you want?" I'm like, "We <laughs> check my tire pressures." Oh god. So they were all they were actually all mismatched, and now they're all at fifty. So yeah. I think that's part of why it actually rides so good too, especially after fixing like this. This was <clears> literally <throat> coming out over here. This was gonna fall off. If this would have fell off, the whole back end would have fell down. I'm gonna do the unsafe thing, climb on this side. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that? Yeah, don't. Okay, I'll do that. This thing's a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, here. See the Cummins? It's a 12 valve Cummins. An excursion. Ford did it right. Ford did it right! <laughs> See, look, look at the top turbo. Okay, look right how big that is, but look at the bottom one. If You can barely oh, see it. I can it, see it. Oh, yeah. It's a giant monster. Ah, uh, so that's how you build a reliable Ford, right? That's how you you put a Dodge power plant in it. Oh, dude, it's so sick. Or you put a K-series in it, but a I don't think it'd move it too fast. Um, a built K. <laughs> you have to, a thousand horsepower K yeah. might yeah. might do it. You gotta have at least a thousand foot-pounds of torque, too. Yeah, no that shit. way you can rotate these damn tires. So. Well. Yeah, it's sick, dude. This is a, such a great truck, man. Like, I, I honestly like eight lifted trucks, but everything was done really well. I'll take some pictures and show you the damage. Hopefully, show the transmission's not shot. That would uh, suck. Yeah, all right, brother. I'm gonna hopefully, I don't break shit on the way home. <laughs> yeah, don't do what I did. Yeah, don't fucking try and do a neutral drop. So, it is later on. I got home a little bit ago. Uh, so that's gonna do for today's video. It was a it was a good change, you know, going through a lot of stuff, and it was good to get out. Joe's got a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, the car I wasn't allowed to film is, you know, it's a pretty pretty badass car. I just can't, you know, I can't really talk much about it. So thank you, Joe, for letting me film your stuff, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it, so I'm gonna go edit this video now and. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video, comment if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next video.